Hello everyone, welcome back to React FAQs. Let's go to another question, mostly asked for little experienced people, even for a fresher also these days they may ask. Explain the browser architecture. So how the browser works, the basic architecture of browser. It's very important for every web developer to understand the browser functionalities. So let's take a simple overview of what is browser architecture, how it works. You know that there are so many browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, various types of browsers are there. Every browser comprises of some major components. First, in browser components, we will have a UI that is user interface. Browser user interface is nothing but the browser buttons, address bar, extensions, whatever you see in the user interface. So when you open a browser, you will see the interface of browser which contains a search bar or address bar, back button, refresh buttons, all these under the concept of UI. So this UI will have UI backend. So the second one is UI backend. What is this UI backend is? The UI that is used by browser is controlled through some logic. For example, you have a back button of browser. When you click the back button, it will go back to the previous page. Refresh will reload the page. These functionalities are defined in the UI backend. So you have UI and the logic coming from UI backend. We can customize the UI backend if the browser is an open source browser. If browser is open source, we can modify, we can customize the backend. So two components, one is UI and UI backend. Next comes the third browser engine. Every browser have an engine. Different browsers have different engines. And what is the responsibility of this browser engine is? It is responsible for translating HTML and CSS. Whatever HTML, CSS comes that is translated by the browser engine into the understandable format of browser. Usually it is in the bytecode. So UI, UI backend and a browser engine. And we have a rendering engine. Number four is rendering engine. Rendering engine is responsible for presenting the output, the generation of layout, painting the layout into the user interface. This all is done by rendering engine. Number five, there is a JavaScript interpreter. JavaScript interpreter is responsible for translating JavaScript into the understandable format of browser. So browser engine translate HTML CSS, but JavaScript is translated by using a JavaScript interpreter. It is used for translating JavaScript. Number six, you have networking. Networking is nothing but every browser will identify the requested resources, check if the resources are available on the server, loads the resources into the browser interface. If any resource is not found unable to load, it shows the various error status codes. So networking is responsible for identifying the request, locating the resources that you requested and loading them into the browser interface. And every browser have Number seven, a data persistence. Data persistence is nothing but data storage. Every browser have a storage. You have a local storage, session storage, cookie storage. So what we can do is we can store the data related to client so that the data can be accessed across requests and used across requests. So the basic browser architecture comprises of so many components. What are those components? Number one, UI. Number two, UI backend. Number three, the browser engine. Number four, rendering engine. Number five, JavaScript interpreter. Number six, networking. And number seven, we have data persistence. This is the basic functionality of a browser. Thank you.